What's up, everybody? Welcome to Worship Matters. I'm Jonathan, and today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to talk about the organization of the sanctuary or um, the pulpit, whatever you want to call the organization of the church. I think in the title I may have used the word architecture, but I'm not talking about the exterior of the of the church. I'm actually talking about the the altar or the sanctuary or the, the, the pulpit, the podium, what's in the front of, of every church and what it means about how we worship. All right, so a lot of people, you come in, you kind of take it for granted. Maybe, you know, especially for Baptists like me, you've just always seen the pulpit right up there on the front where the, or the lectern where the preacher goes up and preaches. Uh, but you, maybe you haven't actually thought that there's actually a whole history of why why it is there. <laughs> and so that's what we're going to talk about today. F before we do that, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. If you enjoy this video, give us a like. And if there's anything you'd like me to talk about in worship or any songs you'd like me to review in wor uh, Christian worship, let me know in the comments. I'd love to check it out. Let's jump into this. Pre-warning. I'm not telling you in this video what to believe about this i have my opinions i'm going to tell you what my opinions are uh as a baptist <laughs> but and i'm not telling you what you should believe about how the sanctuary is set up um the the, the sanctuary is set up with a lot of meaning and symbolism okay but at the core the church is there to worship god and so even if you don't have any of the stuff, any of the fancy stuff, and all you had was like a big circle of chairs for the church to come and worship together, hey, that's fine. Don't don't feel less than. But I think that there is some importance to this because as a church, we uh, a local church, we are putting meaning into the reason we are setting this up. And the historic church has put meaning into how they organize church worship. And I think it's an interesting discussion. And one last thing, I'm not, I, even though I have a preference, that's what, that's all it is. It's a preference. I, there are things that I like about how Baptists set, set up their sanctuary. I'm not telling you that the others are doing it wrong most of the time. <laughs> so... There is an exception to that, and that's the Catholic versus Protestant debate. But that that's really not how they organize their sanctuary and more of a theological difference. Um, so I'll tell you, I think Catholics are wrong about that. But uh, I'm not saying that uh, it's sinful or that it's, you know, uh, unchristian. <laughs> I'm just saying that it's, you know, not not the most accurate to the Bible. That's all I'm saying. So... I might put levy, levy some criticisms here, but that's all it is. It's just criticism. I'm not saying you're not a believer. I'm not saying I can't love you love you in Christ. As long as we can agree on the basics of the gospel, I don't care what your sanctuary looks like, to be honest. So as long as we can agree on those first principles. So now that that's out of the way, I know that was a long intro, but I just I want to be clear <laughs> that I'm just talking about the, the the ideas here. All right, so let's jump into this. Okay. All right, so here this is a Catholic website. Um, together at one altar Catholic dot Catholic dot edu. I've never heard of this, but you can see on here, and I'm not going to go through each one of these. They have these little bubbles that you can look at, and they'll tell you that the organization of all of these things. They have meaning. They have a purpose. All right. So I just want to show you this. This this could be helpful if you've never been to a Catholic church. I have never been to a Catholic church. You can find out what all of all of this means. <laughs> why why do they have the furniture in the sanctuary that they have? Uh, it's it's interesting. Um, so that's just kind of an aside. We're going to be ta starting off with Catholic church because that's where it all started, uh, or at least. That's where the Protestants came from, the Catholic Church. So, so let's look at some different Catholic churches, shall we? All right. So one thing you'll notice um, about Catholic churches is right here in the middle 
is almost always, but I'm just going to say always, is the altar, okay? And this is where they do the Lord's Supper. And so uh, you're going to see this in basically every church. Here's a few other um, pictures. You can see the altar uh, right there. Here's one. You can see the altar right there in the middle. It's always, always in the middle. And there's a reason for that. Uh, here's, it's not like an actual picture, but it's like a drawing. There it is in the middle. You can see, there it is, right there, right in the middle. This is a more modern church. It's more, uh, looks more uh, American, um, pro Protestant even. But there you go, right there in the middle. There's your altar. And so what is the reason for that? So the reason that the altar is in the middle is because in Catholicism, uh, especially Roman Catholicism, uh, the center or the focus of church worship is the Mass, is the Lord's Supper, the Eucharist. Um, and that's why their, their view of transubstantiation is so important to them. It's because that's why you're there. You're there not to sing songs. You're there not to hear the Bible. You're there to take the Lord's Supper. Um, and I can respect the reverence of the Lord's Supper. I think Baptists probably have lost a little bit of that in, in recent years. I think we're actually reclaiming that now. A lot of Baptist churches are, like my church has started to take it every week. Um, because I think the Lord's Supper is central. <laughs> one, of the, one of the reasons we are there is because the, we're take, there to take the Eucharist. So I think the Catholics have, have something going for them. Um, but... The, uh, you'll notice on either side you have two different podiums. And this is almost every Catholic church that I have seen. Uh, let's see. You have one there. You actually don't have a second one. That's interesting. Uh, this one doesn't either. Wow. Okay. A lot of the ones I have seen actually have two. So I'm not really sure what this is. Um, anyways, especially like the older older churches you'll see like this little um podium or whatever i don't know what this this might not even be a church it might just be a um something else you'll see like a podium over here and then you'll see like this big like structure up here it's really interesting um let me let me see here um i really want to show you show this to you um so they have often two uh, uh, da, 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 da. maybe I need to search for gothic church that is not what I okay that's why alright let's see if I can't find this okay man okay I looked this up not that long ago and it was everywhere um oh well oh well all right we'll 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 just come back to it later all right so in in a lot of older churches like really old historic churches you'd have like this outcropping up here um which is a second podium and then you have a, like a little podium down here to and they're always off to the side which is really interesting but as you can see on this one like central is the the table for the eucharist and and again the, the the reason for that is because that's why they're there that's why they call it mass you're there i mean you, you also hear the hear the word preached sometimes you hear the word expounded upon and you hear and you sing songs but the main focus of worship is taking the eucharist and i think part of that and i don't know how you know, forgive me for not knowing my Catholic theology. <laughs> I'm a Baptist after all. I think that they believe that every time you take the Lord's Supper, you're actually re-sacrificing Christ. Or at least some of them do, if I'm not mistaken. Which, as a Baptist, I have a lot of problems with. Christ's sacrifice is once and done. Uh, but, but yeah, so th what they would do is you'll, you'll also notice that there's like a platform here. 
um, and pretty much every church has a platform. And the reason for that, this dates back hundreds and hundreds of years. Uh, and this is basically every church. You've got a, pla a raised platform. And the reason for that was so that when the preacher was reading the scripture, uh, the, the, you give an elevated uh, level for the word of God. So that when you're hearing the word of God preached to you, um, it comes symbolically from a place of authority. And so um, they wanted you to look up to the person reading the scripture. Um, so there's a lot of symbolism in there, and it's been, it's been in the church for hundreds of years, hundreds of years. See, there's a, a raised platform. So that's Catholic Church. All right, so there's they have a lot of other things, and again, not every church is the same. Different, as you can see, different churches have different things. One more thing before we go to, on to Protestants, because uh, you'll see some of these same things in Protestants uh, churches. Over here, you have two different lecterns. This is a common occurrence in a lot of churches. Actually, I was surprised. I didn't even know what it was because in Baptist we just have we have one podium. <laughs> Um, but the one that's bigger and, and higher is done for reading the scripture. And the one that's lower is for um, teaching. Uh, so we often, in America, we use the word preaching. Uh, and so, But the actual word for what, what the, the pastors are doing in the church is actually teaching. Uh, that's the that's the word that's used for the authoritative uh, teaching that the that elders and pastors do um, in in the New Testament. So here they separate what is the word of God, reading the scripture, and what is the word of man, the teaching. Okay, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I think that's might be worth worth. Uh, investing in Baptists. All right, let's move on. We've been on Catholics for a while, and I'm ready for Baptists. <laughs> All right, so I'm doing Baptists first because I'm a Baptist, okay? Sorry. Well, I did Catholics first because I wanted some context. So what happened in the Reformation is the the Reformers rethought everything. Um, and so I think the logical conclusion of the Reformation is Baptist. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love my other uh, Protestant uh, denominations, or at least most of them. Uh, you know, that. <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, but they, they rethought everything. And so one of the things that they rethought is, is the Lord's Supper the central theme of worship? And what did the Reformers find? No. And so what they said is the central theme of worship is the scripture. All right. So that's where we get Baptist churches. Yeah. Okay. So as you can see in the Baptist church, right there in the middle. Ah, there we go. Stop it. Okay. Right there in the middle. So your Quinta Central Baptist Church, you have the podium. This is where the scripture is read and taught from. You have here, this is where the Lord's Supper is presented when you have uh, the, uh, uh, when you do the Lord's Supper or the Eucharist. Uh, so notice the ba Baptists didn't get rid of the Eucharist. We didn't move it to the side and say this is less important. We actually said, no, this is actually just as important as the reading of the word and then look in the back we have the baptismal so you know it also is as important to the church worship it's baptism of course but by the proper form and uh <laughs> and uh in duncan uh <laughs> so uh we, we do immersion uh, most of the time uh so you have the the, the eucharist the uh, or the Lord's Supper uh, in Americanese. You have the, the, the teaching and the scripture, and you have the baptism. So the sacraments and the scripture are the main themes of worship. Also, you'll see what's on the side, music. Music is to the side. Uh, it's important. It's a part of worship, but the main portion of worship is 
the hearing and the teaching of God's word and the sacraments. All right. So that's that's Baptist. You'll see here's another Baptist church. Why is it? Stop it. There we go. Here's another Baptist church right here. Podium. They don't they actually took the Lord's Supper um, table out. I bet you they bring it in every time they do the Lord's Supper. And then back here, I assume that's a baptismal. Let's see. Here's a big church. I wish I could zoom in. Uh, there's your baptismal way up there because we're Baptists. We, we have to have our baptismal. you got your podium right there. You've got all the leaders are going to sit here. You've got, uh, they'll probably put the Lord's Supper right here or down here. Uh, maybe that's there. I can't really see in this photo. Uh, some Baptist churches take it out. Um, when they're not using it, others put like a fern or something on there. One, this is one of my problems with Baptist. See, you have it right here. We have this table that says, in in remembrance of me, do this or something like that. So, some Baptists have stopped doing the Lord's Supper uh, regularly. Like they do it maybe like uh, once a quarter, which, hey, your church, do your church. But I'll tell you, when you start doing it like every week, there's no going back. <laughs> so here we go, baptismal podium and then the uh the uh uh the table for the eucharist and on the sides we got music we kind of have the the musicians in the back here that's more for because it's the best for um for sound but the the instruments they're to the sides and again we have the flags to the sides too if you have flags uh same thing here actually they've got their podium to the side that's really interesting and they've got the Lord's Supper right in the front, or right in the middle. So this is an interesting that uh, they're probably balancing out the piano. So you have pr teaching here, music here, and so maybe they're they're thinking all three. Uh, that looks like their baptismal. That's probably just so they can have their screen here. So you you see a shift in modern in modern worship. Um, uh, I have a feeling some people just don't think about it. To be honest. Here you have your podium, you've got your table down here, this is like another podium. And then you have your baptismal, on the side you have your organ, your piano. So there you go, there's Baptist. So central is the, sac the two sacraments and the teaching of God's word. And you're going to see it just about every ch every Baptist church. At least every church, well that has people, let's not go to that one. Just about every church are going to have the same thing. Sometimes, like I said, they'll take the table out, and then they'll bring it back in. It just depends. Sometimes, some, some Baptist churches have actually removed the table, and they do it from the back forward. I don't know. Um, it's, it's a, that's a new development. Uh, but most churches used to have that. All right, let's hop over to Presbyterian. All right, so Presbyterians are different because they're infant baptizers. <laughs> um and so they're 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 gonna be different. Let's see, is there one that's closer? Here we go. All right. So here we have look at, right in the center. There's your podium or your lectern, if you will. And then right here, also in the center, here is your Lord's Supper. Uh, but they'll have the, these little things. Uh, most of the other Protestant denominations that aren't Baptist are gonna have these little things. I assume this is a baptismal. I could be wrong. I don't know. Let me know in the comments uh, if you are uh, um, a credo Baptist. Is that what it's called? Credo Baptist? No, Pado Baptist. That's what it's called. Let me know if you're a Pado Baptist. Uh, if your denomination uses these things, or if this is something else, I don't know. Maybe it's like for washing hands or feet. I, I really have no clue. Uh, but a lot of them have all the non like Baptists denominations have these uh, because they, they want to have like this symbol of baptism but it's not a big pool because <laughs> we're cool baptists are cool we're like we want a pool <laughs> in our church actually i should say some some baptist churches actually have their their pool or their baptismal like uh, what did i just do stop it like underneath like so these these chairs move and there's like a pool underneath the uh, the stage. It's pretty cool. I actually, I've been to you know, I was a member at a church that had one of those. All right, so let's see here. So here's another one. Look, they have the two podium uh design. 
So you have the one for the preaching of the word, or um, for the reading of the word, and one for the teaching of the word. And then you have your, uh, <clears throat> what's it called, your Eucharist table here, your Lord's Supper table, right in the middle. And so I think they're probably thinking like they want to balance all three. Uh, but maybe they had more thought. Maybe this is the reason they want to be here and, the, you know, they're they're doing other things. I don't know. And this could be a baptismal. I don't know. It looks more like a table to me. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Let's find one that's close. Okay. So this looks like, is that a podium? This might be the uh, the their baptismal. It's hard to tell. Uh their, their little baptism thing, and it's right in line with the, the table for the Eucharist. So you have your sacraments in the middle, and then to the side you have the teaching and reading of God's Word, and then further out, uh, well, that's just chairs for people to sit. Okay. So I was going to say music, but they don't seem to have music. I think, I think Presbyterians, I could be wrong. Presbyterians might do more like singing than playing music. I could be wrong about that. I've actually, that, that might be a piano there. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know. Let me know. I'm curious. I, I've never been to a Presbyterian church. Uh, that looks like an or, a pipe organ, so they've got to have some kind of music there. I, I really I really don't know a ton about uh, Presbyterian churches, uh, all, although I know that Presbyterian is like my second choice. <laughs> uh, all right, so here we go. We've got the, the table for the Lord's Supper, Eucharist. We've got the podium for the speaker, it looks like. Over here it looks like the uh, uh, the baptismal, maybe. I, I imagine when they're going to use it, they're going to bring it into the middle. Uh, it's just like you're not going to use it every day. And they got their pipe organs in the middle. That's probably more of a decorative thing, more than a like symbolism thing. But, you know, maybe not. Because uh, music is part of worship. So, you know, different, different strokes for different folks. All right, here we go. This is, we got your baptismal. Uh, it's got to be what that is. You have your big lectern for uh, the reading over here, way over here. <laughs> that looks like your regular lectern for perhaps the the, the preaching or teaching. Um, but they could just use this, and this could just be for like the choir director, which is why it's in front of the the stand over here. And then right in the middle, you got your your Lord's Supper. So they've got sacraments in the middle to the side, teaching and music. So uh, or reading scripture and music. So. That's Presbyterian. Uh, again, every denomination is going to have like a wide range. So I don't want you to get like this idea that every denom or every type of denomination is diff is the same. So if not all Baptist churches are the same. Not all Catholic churches are the same. Not all Lutheran churches are the same. Not all Presbyterian. And I said Lutheran, we're going there next. All right. So. Lutherans in, in, in the Baptist mind are a lot closer to Catholicism um, in the way they worship, uh, in that the Lord's Supper still remains very central to their, to their worship, in my understanding. I'm not a Lutheran. <laughs> I, I actually was influenced by a lot of Lutheran thought, but that doesn't mean that I know everything about Lutheranism, so I'm not going to say that, that I do. But uh, what I've seen is that Lutherans tend to have the uh the eucharist right in the middle and sometimes they'll have like this guy their baptismal right in the front at least that's what i'm again i'm assuming that that's what that is <laughs> doesn't make any sense for me others and look here you can see here's our two podiums one for reading one for preaching uh is this a catholic church or this doesn't say but here we could probably guess this is we got your table here it doesn't set, tell me what, what kind of church this is. Uh, you got your, your Lord's Supper table. You got podium in the back. There's a good chance this is, uh, uh, well, actually, I have no idea. This could be anybody. could be Baptist, actually, because uh, I don't even see, like, the, the um, uh, what's it called? The uh, baptismal thing. All right, here's another Lutheran. This is what I was talking about. You see this, like, this guy's, like, standing up here in this, like, lifted up culvert thing it's really cool i told my pastor this last week i was like we need to get one of these for our church because <laughs> that would be really cool to have like an elevated for the just for the reading of the word that'd be really awesome i mean i know it is like we're reading from the from the podium but whatever 
So this is where they read the scripture. It's, it's higher up, and then they have this really small lectern way off to the side. But again, uh, from what I've seen from Lutherans, for the most part, it seems uh, the Lord's Supper is right in the middle. All right. I don't see a baptismal, but this is a really close shot. They have a lot of iconography here, which is really interesting. Uh, this one's hard to see, but again, you got your table here. Uh, that looks like your pulpit. I don't see another. That might be that right there, but I think that's just like another one of whatever that is. So it looks like they only have one lectern, which is interesting. Uh, is there anything else that's different from Lutherans? We got our our baptismal, I guess, our Lord's Supper there, and then our two podiums. So there you go. So that's that's what you see with Lutherans. Um, it's about the same. Right, let's look at Anglicans. Anglicans are probably the closest, in my mind, to Catholic, but still Protestant. So you're going to have the, the, the Eucharist table here. You'll have your your big podium for for reading it looks like it's hard to see on mine uh on my screen you have your your little one for the the um teaching and i think this is for prayer i could be wrong about that let's see what this one looks like uh, this could be a baptismal thing right there it might just be a a, a lectern i can't really see maybe y'all can see better than i can but uh then you have your big for reading, you have your Lord's Supper here. Um, I don't really know what some of this other stuff is. If you're Anglican, let me know. I'm curious. Um, I don't even know what this is. Uh, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Here's a big one. Um, we got our baptismal, looks like. You got your uh, Eucharist table, Lord's Supper, and then you got a big podium and a little podium. So. They've got a similar thing. All right. So is this Anglican? Okay. This is a modern Anglican uh, decoration. You have your uh, Lord's Supper table because, again, it's central. And they've just got one podium, so they're going to do everything from here. Uh, they don't have a baptismal, it looks like. I imagine they have one. They probably just don't use, uh, keep it out there in front uh, when they're not doing anything. And notice they've got all their uh, music out, out. So they're... They're, they're putting music pretty close to the Eucharist, which is interesting. Um, and you're going to find this uh, in, uh, in most churches. Here's a big one. Stop it. There we go. This is a, a, um, a very traditional, <laughs> like ancient architecture. You have your pipe organ back here, which is beautiful, just beautiful. You got your Lord's Supper table here. Uh, your big podium here, little podium here. I don't see the baptismal, but it could just be hiding in all this. So if you see it, let me know. I'm curious. <laughs> all right, so that's that's Anglican. So Anglicans, like I said, they're they're a lot closer on the scale to uh, to to Catholics in my mind. They're I mean they're de they're definitely Protestant. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying they're Catholic. I'm just saying they're more Catholic-ish, Catholic-ish than Baptists are. <laughs> Bab we got Catholics on one end, and on the far end, or one of the far ends is, uh, is Baptists. <laughs> Everybody else is in the middle somewhere. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go. I know that there's a bunch more Protestant denominations, so if, you, if I missed you, sorry. Maybe we could do a, a short video where we look at others. So if you've got some, let me know. Um, if you just really want me to look at your, um, your uh, setup. I want I want to talk about a, a, a modern trend, all right? And this is the modern worship stage. Uh, let's take a look at not that one. I don't know why that's up. Let's take a look at this. What do we see in this? Is there a podium? No. Is there a table for the Eucharist? No. Is there a baptismal? No. So what? What is the? Notice that there's not like a uh, a denomination there. Um, so you could say this is non-denominational. But I think a lot of denominations actually have churches like this. 
what is the central theme of the church worship? It's the music. Interesting. An interesting development that has happened over the last like 20 years where before, historically, uh, when the Catholic Church really, in, in its heyday, it was the Eucharist. That was the, the central theme of worship. When the Protestants showed up and <laughs> went back to the early church model for the church, uh, the teaching became equal in some cases with the Eucharist and baptism as the, the central figure of worship. But now we've we've moved even further to where all of those are gone, uh, and I think Baptists have some fault in this that Baptists have slowly gotten rid of the Eucharist and baptism for worship. Um, shots fired, <laughs> and music. Not even the teaching of the word. The music has become the theme. Music, the lights, the big screen, like. Tell me, what is the central figure of this church's worship? That might be a baptismal up there. I don't know. There might be a table down here. I don't know. I don't see it. That could be what that is. Uh, here's a church. Look, I'm not calling these people out, but there's no table. There's no baptismal. It's all just, there's, no, there's not even a lectern. I don't know what this is. This might not be worship at all. This might just be like a, 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 a regular stage. But, I mean, this is pretty common. Look, no table, no baptismal, no podium. Your pastor might bring uh, a, a podium out. But, no table, no baptismal, no lectern. What is the central theme of worship? It's music. That's what it is. All right, I'm not saying that's right or wrong. But, uh... This one at least has a little podium here, and I don't think these tables have anything to do with the Lord's Supper. I could be wrong about that. Maybe it is. Just a, just an empty stage. Okay, that's that. To me, that's that's telling <laughs> when 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 your your pulpit is just an empty stage. Hmm. What what does that say about our worship? That's what I'm I'm curious about. All right. Let's 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 talk about what we've just seen. I know this is a really long video. I'm sorry, but I wanted to actually show you what what is what the church believes, uh, because I think a lot of people don't even think about what our design of the sanctuary actually means. And again, um, I'm not I'm not accusing like modern churches of. Uh, like being unchristian <laughs> or not doing worship well. I think you could have an empty stage and still do worship really well. Um, but there is some symbolism that the historic church has always used. And I'm not, again, you know, um, it's not required, but I think it's a beautiful, I think it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing to have this symbology in our worship. These things symbolize the, the ancient faith we're connecting to our, our ancient churches. And I think there's a temptation when you clear all that out that it just becomes empty. Um, that's my thoughts on it. Um, I like the Baptist model. I also have been really thinking about the, the two-podium idea. I really like that, where you could have the scripture in the middle and you could have like a, a lectern off to the side for the teaching. So we're saying that the scripture is more important to church worship than, than the teaching. Uh, although the teaching is important, but it's as important as the music is. It's not as important as the, the, the Eucharist or the, or the baptism. Uh, those are the most important things. Hearing the scripture read, uh, having the... Uh, the, the Eucharist, having baptism, of course, you're not going to have baptism every week. It's only uh, as needed, but still, I think that those are uh, some interesting design choices. Let me know what you think. What, 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 how do you like the, 
the the symbolism of your sanctuary to be? Do you like a raised platform? Even even the modern church, uh, these modern churches uh, who have more of worship stages rather than uh, pulpits, um, they they still have it raised up. They have it elevated, so they're they're singing and and preaching down to you, and so you have to look up to hear the hear the music, look up to hear the, the word of God preached and taught and read. Um, and so there's a sense of praying over the church as well. And so that that idea has, has rarely left the church. Um, all, smaller churches that meet in like, you know, basements or, or whatever, they don't have that uh, that ability. But I'm talking about like churches who have their own building. So, what do you think? What how, how does your church uh, organize those things? I'm really curious to hear how different churches have have thought through this issue. Have you ever given any thought to the architecture or design of the church sanctuary? Let me know what you think. Is it? Do you think that this video has changed your mind in any way, or is it solidified in how your church has always done it is the right way? I, I'd love to hear. I'd love to hear. You know, just just looking through this for this video has changed my mind on some things. And, uh, yeah, I, I love it. You know, this is a historical discussion that the church has had for for centuries. So let's let's have a discussion in the comments. Thanks for watching. Peace.